my biggest influences growing up were, I remember finding a Ted Nugent Cat Scratch Fever 8-track tape. Uh, my parents had that, and I had a Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven 8-track tape. That kind of start opened the door for rock and roll for me. And then it slowly, I ended up finding records, Atlanta Rhythm Section, and you know, got into stuff like that. Then I had a friend up the street, his name was Jimmy Ryan, and he had an older brother. And he was the one that t first turned us on to Metallica, Slayer, Iron Maiden, and really, at that point, I went kind of full force into metal in the early years with Maiden, Metallica, Slayer, bands like Thrash, Nuclear Assault, um, Testament, things like that. Then I kind of went to a phase where Minor Threat and Bad Brains became real important to me. And at that point, things changed and my musical spectrum opened up a lot. And, uh, you know, at that point, metal was real important to me, but then punk rock, man, that's when I really, I was a late bloomer discovering Sex Pistols and all that, but then at that point, man, Sex Pistols were huge. The Ramones were huge in my life. And then uh, metal was always there, punk, hardcore, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, and of course, Beastie Boys came out back in the 80s, and that kind of changed the game. And we were into Run DMC and Beastie Boys. And so being a skateboarder at that time, you know, we kind of ran with the heavy metal Hessian kids, the grits, the hardcore kids, the skinhead kids, the hippie kids.